I'll tell you what I wanted to ask you. I was I wanted to ask you about um, Lenny McLean. Did you ever do a bit of bird with him? No, never. But Lenny McLean, I can tell you now the date, December 1987. Yeah. At, uh, uh, hold up, let's get this right. Uh, fucking hell, Bow Royal Theatre. He came to one of my fights. Did he? Yes, he did. There was Charlie Cray there, Lenny McLean, uh, all, all the faces were there. And uh, uh, my uh, manager at the time, Paul Edmonds, who's now dead, he got shot dead in the boozer in Canning Town, he put a challenge out to Lenny to fight me. Oh, wow. Honestly. Would you have taken it? But at that time, 87... He was flush. He, he, he was he was working on the hippodrome. He, he, he was doing a little bit of telly. He was just turning his life around into nice things, you know. And he, he never took it. Wow. Well, never took it. Do you think you would have beaten him? Oh, I don't know about I don't think like that, uh, Steve. Mm. But it would have been a good wear because I was 36 years old, prime of my life, just come out of jail after 14, 15 years away. Don't smoke, don't take drugs. I was fast, fit, strong. I was weighing in 14 stone dead. And I, I, I was, I, I would have gone in with fucking King Kong. Yeah. I was just, uh, unless you got me on the button, it, it, it never had a chance of fucking taking me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would have been a good you know, fight. I think I'd have, I, personally, I think I'd have been a little bit fast for him, you know. You, you did a bit of time with Roy, didn't you? Roy Shaw. Yeah, up in Hull. Yeah. Man boy. What was he like? Oh, fucking hard man, mate. Now, Hull Prison, in 1974, 75, and seven, part of 76, because the riot went off 76, and they smashed the whole jail to pieces. Now, Hull was the only jail with a fucking boxing ring. Right. And if I told you now who I've done a bit of sparring with in that ring, you won't believe it. Go on. Paul Sykes. Ah, oh, right, okay. I actually sparred with Paul. Yeah, he was a good fighter, wasn't he? Fucking hell, professional, mate. He fought for the title, didn't he? British heavyweight title. Yeah. So he did... lost, but he still fought for him. John yeah. L. Gardner, he fought. That's right, a Geordie. But exactly. But whole prison at that time was the only jail to have a boxing ring. And the only other uh, jails that ever had a boxing ring were uh, Portland Borstal and Dover Borstal. Right. They had boxing. And these people today can't understand what, how great it is to have a boxing ring. In a, they won't even give us a punch bag anymore, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Health and safety. You might hurt yourself. They're fucking idiots, mate. Absolute fucking idiots. You get two cons having a fucking argument and it's going to go off. The PTI should just get hold of the two of them and put them in the fucking ring and let them bash it out. Yeah, definitely. Did Roy get in the ring? got clubs on. As long as the, 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 you know, the PTI is there and they ain't going to get naughty, you know, that's the best way for a man to get rid of all his frustrations and anger. And hate. Of course it is. But they don't see that, Steve. No. Did Roy get in the ring there, then? Yeah, not so much. He, he never went in a lot, but he, he used to work out on his own with dumbbells and on, on the punch bag, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He always struck me as a really tough guy, Roy Shaw. Oh, uh, yeah, I tell you, he was a tough boy. Oh, Jackie Binns. Jackie Binns? Who was that? Yeah, the Yorkshire man. Right. He died about... Uh, Early this year. Did he really? Yeah, Jack Bins. What was he in for? Oh, uh, all sorts, violence, all sorts. Yeah. I met, I met Jack in 1974. Right. Uh, he got to about 80-odd, but they put him in alone, you know. Oh, right, wasn't, okay. wasn't very well. Met some characters through your time, mate. I, I met him all. I met him all. Big Georgie Wilkinson from up your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a tough one, mate. Hard man, George. Yeah. Uh, Freddie Mills. Was that Freddie Mills? I Mil met every, anyone who was anyone I met. Fre Freddie Mills, was he 
Was he was he pro boxer? No, he's Freddie Mills from up your way. Oh, Fred the Head. Fred the Head. Yeah, that's right. See, when I say Freddie Mills, people think of the Freddie Mills, the world champion for yeah, London. That's what I that's what I was thinking of. Were you a boxing fan then, Charlie? Uh, I've always loved boxing, yeah. I won't say I'm a fan, but mm. uh, I've always respected them and you yeah. know, uh, boxing is a fraternity, isn't it? Is it is it like a family? Oh it's a fa- it's definitely a family. I mean I that's... Oh, without a doubt. No. Without a doubt, and you know yourself, a lot of these boxers, great boxers, if they never went into the ring, mate, they'd have definitely gone the same quit and all Alcatraz. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. No Have doubt it? about it. Yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. It's a, it's a fantastic sport, like, but it's a tough sport. And you get a lot of these tough boys working for these fucking people. And these people tell them, he's a nonce, he's a grass, slap him, slap him. So they're actually fucking screws in prisoners' uniforms. Yeah. Now, all through my life, I've fought the fucking system. Screws, governors, or anyone with uniforms and keys, I've fought them fuckers. Now, people like Dennis Nielsen, as monstrous as he is, he ain't really done me any fucking harm. Now, yeah. I'll tell you why he was funny. The reason he was a character and funny, he was a raving homosexual. You know that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now, there was a couple of lads in the block, not faces, but, you know, proper tough old boys. And they was on at him and on at him and on at him. They wouldn't let it go, you know. It was going on for fucking days and weeks, keeping us all a fucking sleep and blah, blah, blah. Even I fucking pulled him and said, hey, have a go at the fucking screws, mate. Leave him alone for a bit. Give it a fucking rest. Anyway, he's come to the window one night, that, that Nielsen, and it was so funny. He said, right, listen to me now, what I've got to say. And he, he had a bit of a posh voice and all, you know, so it sounded a bit strange. Yeah. And he said, if you continue having a go at me, and keeping me awake and bullying me, I'm going to get the news of the world in, involved and say, <laughs> you're my lovers. <laughs> 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 it was so fucking funny. So he's got their names, he's got their prison numbers, he's got everything about them, and he's going to do a fucking story in the news of the world <laughs> saying they're, his, his, they're lovers. Oh, it, they soon shut up after that, mate. Oh, I bet they did. I bet it they was did. fucking funny. It was so... I, I pissed myself. It was so funny, mate. He was a, he was a, he was somebody who used to, like, lure people back to his flat or something and... Um... Oh, yeah. No, everyone he killed was was like a, a homeless person. He'd take them back and give them a drink. He'd put something in their drink. Then he'd drown them in the bath or strangle them on the set when they were asleep. And then what he used to do, he used to sleep with the dead bodies. Yeah, I mean, that's just... Killing for Company was the book that was written. I, cu- I couldn't read that kind of book. Oh, fuck. And uh, what he was, uh, obviously, was a, uh, it's called a necrophilia. Yeah, that's right. People who loved dead bodies. He was an ex-copper. I, no, he was a police cadet. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I know quite a lot of... He's dead now, you know. Oh, I didn't realise he was dead. Yeah, he died in full sun. Oh, right, okay. Died in full sun, I'd say, three years ago. 